Hey folks, it's JD here, and look, I've actually spent out and bought the Phantom 3 Standard. I'm really excited to be opening this. I mean, now, uh, unfortunately, DJ, DJI have discontinued the Phantom 3 and the Phantom 4. Uh, obviously, they are going to be rolling out the Mavic, and they're going to be rolling out the Phantom 4 Pro, uh, Pro Plus. Um, so now is a fantastic time to get yourselves a Phantom 3 or a Phantom 4. Uh, so let's open her up and let's have a little look and see what's inside the box So you've got two little flaps at the front here and then With that it should just be oh, There we go a Simple case of opening her up now right from the word go You're gonna have yourself the little manuals and everything inside here There's a little label on here just letting you know that before you take this out You've got to give this a read and seriously guys, this is such a, an, an important and such uh, a high priced item that you don't really want to be crashing it at all. You don't want to be damaging it and you don't want, God forbid, don't want to be damaging anybody else either. Uh, so yeah, definitely give these a read before you take them out. So let's put those to one side. Now, the moment of truth. There we go, look at that. So, you'll have yourself your Phantom, you've got your transmitter. You've got your propellers, you've got your battery which is already inserted into the DJI, you've got yourself one charger and you've got yourself an accessory box as well. So inside the accessory box you're going to have things like propeller tighteners and uh, extra dampeners and a couple of extra screws for the gimbal as well. So there's a specific way that everything has to come out. You can't take the drone out first so you have to take the transmitter out first. So we'll put the transmitter to one side and we'll come back to this. Then you can remove your drone. And then we can remove all the other pieces as well. So what we'll do for the time being, we'll have a little look at the drone. We'll go through some of its features and then we look at the assembly and look at everything else that comes inside this box. Okay, so let's put this to one side. And there we go. Look at this. So from the from the start you may have you should have four stickers two of mine have fallen off the motors but essentially all it says on here is um make sure the propellers are securely tightened before flight that's all it says on these little stickers here so we're just going to take these off and put them to one side and there we go look at this such an incredible range of drones uh, the phantom series they really have revolutionized um unmanned uh, aerial vehicles drones quadcopters whatever you want to call them they really have taken it to the next level now the phantom range are known for their really really high quality and extremely good cameras and lenses not just that but the flying ability as well okay so now that we have the drone let's have a quick little look and get these propellers on here so there's no a and b uh, on the on the propeller arms like we normally have with a lot of quadcopters what we've got here is we've got a black mark and we've got no mark. So let me just see if I can show you this. There's the black mark on the propeller arm uh, and there is the no mark on the motor arm there. So we're going to have two sets of propellers that go on the black marks and two sets of propellers that go on uh, on the, the no marks or the silver side. So let's just get the propellers and then let's have a look at fitting them. So inside your really nice DJI bag you're gonna have eight propellers so as it goes we're not gonna need eight <laughs> we're just gonna need four for the time being so it's quite a bit fiddly to get these out as the neck of the bag isn't that wide so oh, there we go so there we go as you can see you've got the black tips to the top of the propellers and you've got the silver tips so we need two black and we need two silver. There we go. So let's just put away these four others. Let me just double check something actually. Yeah, two blacks and two silvers. Great, there we are. So we know we've got the correct ones. That's great. Just in case there was a, a mix up in the factory. There we go. Brilliant. So we'll put these to one side. Right then. So now we come to fit. So the way I would do this and the way that's recommended is before you start, there's a little bit of plastic over the top of these propellers. So all we've got to do is just 
pick this off like that comes off pretty easy and then you're just left with your standard propeller now this has got a, uh, a screw action so as you put the propeller on you just twist it while holding onto uh, onto the motor push down and then you'll feel a little click and then you can screw in if you look from the side as well as you do this you should see that the propeller moves down you can see it's screwing in so there we go you're left with something that looks a little bit like that so as you can see there's no uh, clearance it is quite a tight fitting so now that we've done that one we can just make sure that it is properly tight we can move on to the rest so there we go so now the way that your propellers should look is as you're looking at it you should have black running horizontally and you should, or running in a straight line rather and you should have silver running in a straight line as well they should be completely opposite each other and then it should go silver black silver black there we go perfect i mean the thing that has astounds me and astounded me when i flew the phantom 4 the other week is just how little clearance these both propellers have look at that it's incredible absolutely perfect okay so now we put the propellers on let's talk about this battery so this is dji's intelligent battery now you have a little sticker on the top of it let's just peel that off and then now we'll talk about how to turn on the drone and uh, and the charging technique for this particular battery so this battery that comes with it so it's 4480 milliamp hour and 15.2 volts so a lot different to what we usually you usually see with the toy grade quadcopters so to turn on uh, the drone well first of all let's have a look and see so you can see how much battery is left inside this uh, how much charge is left inside this battery so click the battery on off button once and you'll it'll flash up and show you how many bars you've got of charge you've got left so to turn on the drone all you would do is click once and then click and hold for two seconds that then will initiate the startup sequence uh, for your particular drone so likewise to turn it off again it's exactly the same sequence as to start click once and then click and hold for two seconds and then once the battery meter fills up all the way the drone will turn itself on or turn itself off so there we go don't forget as well when you charge this use dji's recommended charger uh, i know there might be some compatible chargers out there but it's definitely going to be better if you use the official one as you're making sure you get the right voltage the right amperage and you're not going to damage the battery before you take it out in flight so all in all it's looking rather very much like a drone look at that beautiful but now probably one of the best features on the phantom let's have a little look at the gimbal and oh, so as you can see from the front you've got these little dampeners on top of the gimbal when you squeeze them together obviously they depress that then just shows you that as you're flying all the shocks will be absorbed by these little dampeners here fantastic little system works really well there we go so as you can see on the front of the camera there is a little gimbal um, or a little camera housing just to protect the camera and the gimbal now you can take that off be very careful when you do so but this can come off and it is most definitely recommended to do so before you take it out and fly it because for the second there's no power going through the drone so the gimbal will just move any way that that, that you position it obviously when there is charge and when the, the when the drone is on this gimbal will stiffen up and will only be operated by the motor from the uh, from the transmitter so let's have a little look about taking this off so it should just be when you've got it down there it should just be that you just pull it off let's have a little look and see which way that goes so you just slide out the gimbal holder from the back and then from that point you can just take the dust cap off it as well quite a bit stiff Ugh, there we go but that's the lens cover and then you have the camera and the gimbal isn't held by anything now you can put the SD card in the top of the camera right there um, is there one that comes with it yes there is 8 gig SanDisk perfect so I'll put that back in so obviously the correct class as well correct class of SD card for uh, the Phantom let's just have a look and see if it says I think it's class 10 if memory serves but um, 
yeah class 10 so if you are looking to replace or also get the best sd cards you can make sure you get the correct class as well it does matter it doesn't that's the, that's that's the kind of thing people say oh well i try i have any class going into any one of my cameras and it's fine honestly i find the class 10 is pretty much best for any digital photography um but also you know double check check your manuals as well that come with your uh, your equipment you may find that you can use many different classes many different makes but it's always best to pay a little bit extra get a nice name on the sd card often find as well the flash memory is a little bit better quality and therefore can often handle a lot faster writes and therefore a lot higher quality of video so the video on this particular uh, phantom 3 standard is 2.7k i think they call it which is slightly higher than 1080p so obviously not as high as 4k but it is going to have a much higher pixel density and a much clearer um, video than 1080 fantastic so there's our drone completely built we've attached the propellers oh i forgot one thing about the propellers as well in the accessory bag is this little contraption let me show you this before i forget this little contraption here now this little contraption is what enables you to tighten your propellers put the clamp around the motor hold on to it by pinching the two bottom ends and then you can screw on your propeller a lot tighter knowing you're not going to damage the motor and not going to damage the propeller as well so one thing i like to do is as we've just put it on and we've just gone through and just made sure the propellers are nice and hand tight let's use this little contraption and just ensure that the propellers are as tight as they go obviously without damaging the quadcopter but the last thing that i want at all you know i don't want to be stressing out about these propellers becoming undone and the drone coming down and crashing so also inside this accessory bag is you get a couple of uh, a couple of dampeners and a couple more screws and also a little bit of foam there as well uh, which normally goes on the gimbal so that's in the little accessory bag right so we've got the accessory bag to one side let's put the quadcopter to one side let's have a quick look at the charger and then we'll get on to the transmitter so charger pretty much just in this box pretty standard uh, a lot like the drone um, so once we've opened this little box i don't know why they put such small amounts of sellotape on everything it makes it quite difficult to open right there we go one charger beautiful now in order to charge the battery you've got a little charging port inside here that you would just flip open and there we go that then battery plugs into there let me just show you Whoa. on the inside of the battery you've got the two connectors right there so all this would do is you would just with it obviously powered up we clip that into there there we are as easy as that and then charge it for the recommended amount of time the battery also does discharge itself over time as well so if you leave it charged up and then when you go back and you do click the button you think oh hang on i left that fully charged if you do leave it for a couple of weeks it will discharge itself as well um, that is common practice and there's that's just your cable that comes with it as well and also you get a nice little usb cable perfect really good so the usb cable can be used and plugged into whoop, that goes the gimbal holder plugged into the front here so once you've plugged the usb cable into the front right there you can download the flight logs uh, from your phantom now i've not done that personally yet i will be and once i've done that i'll probably do a little episode and just show you guys what the flight logs are all about I should imagine it would contain things like altitude, speed, um, video quality. That's what I would imagine. Uh, but obviously until I know, then that's all we can do is just speculate for the time being. But once I do know, I'll jump on and make sure I give you guys an update for that. Once you open it, this is what you have. So a large device. Honestly, I don't think it needed to ever be that large. But there we go, it is, so you know you can't really complain. 
So you've got a couple of switches at the top, a couple of switches that are used for binding to the quadcopter initially when you first start her up and for return to home as well. Uh, obviously this quadcopter is GPS, does have altitude hold, has a barometer as well so if you do fly it and there's no GPS signal it will still hold up at a particular altitude but of course like we see with all other barometer altitude hold quadcopters it will start to move side to side. You've got an on and off button at the bottom there. So as you can see now when it's on we've got two uh, bars of battery there. So the battery in here is completely self-contained and it does charge just through the little USB port at the bottom there. Um, and what I would do is just wait until you see all the, all the lights are full uh, and then you'd know it's completely full and ready to go. You've got on the side here, this is your gimbal control. So whether you move your gimbal up and, up and down. Stretched around the back here I think is a pretty awful design. Uh, and that is your FPV holder, so you can have your phone attached to it. Now, I really don't like this. There is an attachment for it to go on your lanyard holder here, and I have already ordered one. We'll do a little clip of me adding that uh, to that, so I can get rid of this bit when it arrives, uh, hopefully in the next couple of days. So as you can see, that's pretty much the transmitter. You have your one aerial at the top here. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of features. It has pretty much the same standard uh, amount of controls that you would have on any other quadcopter. There's no controls on the back of it. Uh, so that is pretty much it. Or most of the really high tech things like return to home. Uh, well, sorry, that's one of the return to home switches. But a lot of the high tech stuff you would do from your FPV screen, like follow me and things like that. So we'll have, a, we'll have another little look at everything on the DJI app when we go to the field in the next couple of days and we, we look at flying uh, this little beast. So there we go. So, so far today, we have looked at the Phantom. Uh, we've looked at the transmitter. We've also looked at the battery. We've looked at attaching the propellers, using the propeller grip as well, the pro propeller clamp to hold on to these motors as you screw it on. So there we are folks, that is the unboxing and assembly of the DJI Phantom 3. Quite an old quadcopter, been around for about two years, but definitely still worth your money. Um, actually may have been out a bit longer than that, but definitely still worth your money. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD, you've been fantastic as always guys, thank you. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers and hello. Um, I have noticed the channel has had a load more subscribers the past couple of weeks. Thank you ever so much to everyone and hello. I uh, hope all of you are well. Uh, if you haven't, come and say hello. Hit me up in the comments below. And when I've got five, five minutes, I'll say hello back as well. Uh, likewise, any questions, let me know in the comments box below. And I always try my best to help you as much as I can. So, also, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this, then come on, guys, subscribe. Get in on the action. Uh, and also, if you have watched and if you have enjoyed, give us a thumbs up as well. So thanks folks, so join me in the next couple of days when we're going to be taking this out and we're going to be flying her and we're going to be watching her dance through the air. So until next time my friends, happy flying.